Hello, and welcome to the fourth annual Climate Innovation Challenge Student Showcase. My name is Phil Lucero, and I'm the Education Director at Kavu. Halato, hamitakwe. I'm Jin Santry, and I'm the Indigenous Education Liaison at Kavu. I'm an enrolled citizen of Choctaw Nation, and I'm Lakota and Dakota. Kavu inspires locally led climate solutions through visual storytelling and educational programming. For us, taking ownership of climate related issues starts in our schools with the Climate Innovation Challenge. CIC started four years ago as a climate change education program to provide students a platform for sharing solutions built around their own interests and communities. We were a modest program working with a few northern New Mexico schools in our first year. Today, we're working with 15 states, seven countries, and we reach over 10,000 students. This is just a testament to the growing need for engaging climate change education in our schools. In CIC, we often ask our students to start where they are. So we're starting where we are here at Reunity Resources Farm in Santa Fe, New Mexico. This place with its incredible composting operation and beautiful farm has been so meaningful to so many of our students as they have worked on their CIC projects. Many of us have felt the impacts of climate change. For us in New Mexico, it was a Hermit's Peak and Calf Canyon fires of last summer, two of the most destructive wildfires in New Mexico history. And in Florida, where we're working closely with Jen Cleo as a community partner, they're experiencing an entirely different set of problems, like sea level rise, sunny day flooding, and the contamination of freshwater aquifers. And in Kenya, where we're seeing our most significant international growth, they're dealing with things like drought, deforestation, and issues related to climate migration. Indigenous communities have felt some of the strongest impacts of climate change to our livelihoods, our food systems, and our cultures. I want to call special attention to the importance of validating Indigenous knowledge and supporting Indigenous communities as we come together to work on plans and programming that addresses climate change through adaptation, education, and Native youth engagement. It really doesn't matter where you live. We all feel the effects of climate change in a variety of ways. That's why we need a variety of solutions. There are many successes we can celebrate with CIC. I'm inspired by the entire ninth grade participating in CIC at Santa Fe Indian School. I loved going into the classroom, creating mind maps, and working with students on issues that they really care about, such as language revitalization, their culture, um, fishing, and also traditional ecological knowledge. I was excited to see CIC grow internationally. With the help of Mercy Wambui, Teddy Waria, Arup Sinha, and our friends at the Environmental Sustainability Rotary Action Group, we truly have a global reach. And I'm thrilled that we're able to work with the folks at Positive Energy Solar uh, and, and Explore Science Center to expand our educational offerings. And we couldn't have done this without all the impassioned and incredible teachers from across the world who dedicated their time and expertise to teach their students about climate change with the CIC curriculum. Let's not forget about the parents and guardians. After all, who's behind the scenes of a successful CIC project? A supportive adult. We see and acknowledge you. Thank you for investing in our future by investing in our young people. The Climate Innovation Challenge could not be possible without the support of our generous sponsors and community partners. With your help, CIC is provided free of charge to all participating classrooms around the world. I also want to give special thanks to the Lano Foundation for funding CIC's engagement with Indigenous youth. Thank you for your continued support. I want to thank our outstanding judging panel for combing through all of the entries submitted to this year's competition to narrow it down to these final award-winning entries. This eclectic mix of graduate students, educators, media professionals, and scientists put in hours of volunteer work to review and score each and every project that came in. It has been a true pleasure to work alongside these esteemed professionals. Now let's turn our attention to the first round of award winners. Here we highlight projects that excel in one or more of the attributes our judges are looking for. Creativity, practicality, innovation, storytelling. I'd like to turn over the announcements to Kavu staff member Rebecca Van Arnhem. Rebecca? Hi, my name is Rebecca Van Arnhem and I'm the East Coast Education Liaison here at Kavu. I'm currently in Santiago, Chile in South America, so I've been working fully online with my teachers and students. For best storytelling in elementary school, a prize of $200, composting, by fifth grade students Stephen, Bryce, Anthony, Axel, Amory from Roland Rogers Elementary School in Galloway, New Jersey. Teacher Stephanie Prose. 
for Best Storytelling in Middle School, a prize of $200, Rooftop Gardens by sixth grade students Vivian and Avery from the Sage International School of Boise in Boise, Idaho, teacher Morgan Baker. For Best Storytelling in High School, a prize of $200, Managing Our Taxes to Combat War and Climate Change by 10th grade student Anna from New Mexico School of the Arts in Santa Fe, New Mexico, teacher Sarah Rowe. I'll now pass it back to Jen. For most practical or effective concept in elementary school, a prize of $200, Time Crunch for Lunch, produced by the third grade students at Amy Beale Community School in Santa Fe, New Mexico, teachers Tara Dayton and Malcolm Smith Carlisle. For most practical or effective concept in middle school, a prize of $200, deforestation by fourth through eighth grade students at the Magarini Children's Center in Marafa, Kenya. Teachers Patrick Hare Furaha and Emmanuel Carissa Baya. For most practical or effective concept in high school, a prize of $200, sustainable seafood by Carmen and Eileen. Ninth grade students at the Academy for Technology and the Classics in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Teacher, Lindsay McAfee. For most creative or engaging project in elementary school, a prize of $200, Wild Our World, by third and fourth grade students, Matthew and Elle, from the Living Learning Homeschool in Nairobi, Kenya. Teacher, Mom. For most creative or engaging project in middle school, a prize of $200, The Sound of a Better Planet, by Madison, eighth grade student at Dock Street School for STEAM Studies in Brooklyn, New York. Teacher, Amber Cogswell. For most creative or engaging project in high school, a prize of $200, Your Lawn Sucks, by Willa, a 10th grade student at New Mexico School for the Arts in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Teacher, Sarah Rowe. I am so impressed with all of these climate change solutions. Great job, students and teachers. To watch all these videos, be sure to head over to Kabu's YouTube channel after the showcase. Our final round of awards highlights projects that have done well in all categories. They have weathered the judging panel's critical eye and find themselves in rare company. These are our 2023 outstanding entries. Hello, I'm Masi Wamboi, an environmental educator and Kabu's Africa Education Liaison based in Nairobi, Kenya. I've had the privilege of supporting educators across Africa teach the CIC curriculum to their learners. It has been a fulfilling six months journey, watching learners understand concepts of climate change and develop innovative solutions that are locally adapted. For outstanding international entry, a prize of $300, Lake Bogoria, by 9th through 12th grade students at Lake Bogoria Girls High School in Lowo, Kenya. Teachers, Amos Kibet Cheriot and Frederick Kipruto. Congratulations and over to you, Phil. For outstanding entry in elementary school, a prize of $300, Fashion Crisis by West, a fourth grade student at Carlos Gilbert Elementary in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Teachers Lisa Grogan and Christine Bayri. For outstanding entry in middle school, a prize of $400, Creating Backyard Habitats by Athena and Adrian, sixth and eighth grade students at Albuquerque Academy in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Teacher, Dr. Elliot Wilkinson. For outstanding entry in high school, a prize of $500. High Schooler's Guide to Thermal Solar Power by Tegan, a 10th grade student at the New Mexico School for the Arts in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Teacher, Sarah Rowe. Wow, Phil, this year's videos really blew me away. Each video left me hopeful because we really need these youth voices to carry the torch forward and turn these proposals into action. And now for the grand prize, the Best in Show Award. The CIC Founders Award goes to the project that not only scores the highest, but it excels in multiple categories like storytelling, creative problem solving, and proposing effective and practical solutions. It will serve as an example going forward of what we know students are capable of achieving. I'm honored to hand over this announcement to last year's Best in Show Award winner, Maya, 11th grade student from the New Mexico School for the Arts. Maya? Hello there, I'm Maya Halopkatz, a junior at New Mexico School for the Arts. My experience with CIC has bridged the gap between the arts and the sciences and provided me with a platform and pathway to meaningful environmental activism ultimately showing me how CIC helps students to expand their learning across mediums and amplify their voice. 
Ultimately, however, I am here to tell you that the CIC Founders Award for $1,500 goes to... Seagrass, Patching the Holes of Climate Change by 12th grade students at Cutler Bay Senior High School in Cutler Bay, Florida. Teacher Nicholas Valdez. Congratulations and back to you, Phil. Thank you, Maya. And congratulations to the students and faculty at Cutler Bay Senior High School for this incredible accomplishment. We're very proud of you and your work. We would like to recognize the following students for receiving an honorable mention in this year's competition. These students will receive a $50 award. I want to give a shout out to the students at Brooklyn Tech for their amazing video on a living wall. We also had impressive projects on coral reefs, turning sand into soil, and worm composting. All of these climate change solutions should be celebrated. I want to acknowledge the hard work from classrooms around the globe that submitted to this year's competition. The judging process was very difficult with many projects competing for top prizes. We love sharing the work of our students and we hope you've enjoyed celebrating their success with us. CIC is not just about the awards though. We may have received hundreds of submissions, but we've reached over 10,000 students with our climate change curriculum. It's the impact on students that matters most to us. CIC's unique focus on storytelling gives students flexibility in how they share their stories. Many students wrote narratives, poems, choreographed dance routines with their classrooms, as well as making films for our challenge. This program is for all of you, our future leaders. I couldn't be more proud of the entire CIC community. Thank you, parents, teachers, judges, volunteers, and community members, and of course, students. You make this program a success. So now the real show begins. Head on over to Kavu's YouTube channel to watch these award-winning student projects. Be sure to listen closely. Our youth have something important to say. Registration is now open for the 2023-2024 Climate Innovation Challenge. We already have 17 schools signed up and Santa Fe High School have already finished their projects. Sign up now and consider making a tax-deductible donation to Kavu so that we can continue to provide this program free of charge. See you next year. Let's hit the ground running. Good night.